Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolf's Side channel. Today we have a very special topic, indeed very special topic. <coughs> the Unreal Engine 4 performance versus the Unreal Engine 5 performance because Henrik said in his last stream that the game will look a little bit better or a lot better, especially the shadows and stuff and th that the performance will not crumble under that. But first... <laughs> But I will show you how you can connect to the test server to test it out yourself if you have better performance, worse performance or whatever performance. Also a lot of other stuff is patched in but uh, right now it's only about the Unreal Engine performance. So how you can connect to the test server is pretty easy. So you are here at your Steam library, you're making a right click on Mortal Online 2. Make sure that you are in the Steam library on then on properties and on properties you go to beta and on beta you have there the option to um, select the test public the public test server of Mortal Online 2 and it's already starting to download and to install so no problem there. Wait until finished and then click on play. So now we make the performance test in Unreal Engine 4 first. Here is uh, the FPS counter from the game and yeah the marker is so big because um, it, it wasn't I wasn't able to make it even bigger but uh, I think it's big enough it's a it's a very nice Nice V. So yeah, if I'm looking around, I have a stable 60 FPS. So let's take one turn around that corner there and let's try it out because I will test that as well with the Unreal Engine 5. And we have about 60 FPS. No, it's not capped at 60 actually. And um, yeah, it works. I have a um, 13,900K processor and a 3080 Ti and enough RAM and a M.2 of course. And everything is on cinematic, on ultra quality, on 300% render distance. And yeah, let's uh, see how this is going in Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, because it's a new engine, you also need to make your settings uh, all again. Also your UI settings, your mouse settings, your uh, mouse sensitivity settings, all the other settings. So uh, better back, back it up uh, if you don't know how much your mouse sensitivity is exactly in the old Mortal Online 1. Because if you switch over, then you need to adjust that. And maybe if you are a few percentages off, this could be a real problem if you... Uh, are a PvP fighter or stuff like that. So let's try it on TSR 100, which Henrik showed in his stream that it, it will improve uh, the the visuals a lot. And uh, we need to, uh, and we use the nanites. And let's try it out if that actually works or if it don't work. It's pretty exciting. And yeah. Uh, Okay, okay, okay. It's loading. It's loading. It's loading. And yeah, I can enter. Okay, well, maybe it works. Nice. And oh, 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 and crashed. And I got thrown back to my desktop. So, yeah, it's uh, uh, difficult, it seems. <laughs> so let's restart. Let's try a restart. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe maybe this will work uh, this time. I um, deselected the nanites, so it don't use this nanites. So maybe this will work. Uh, maybe it was too too much at load at first. I don't know. So we need an FPS counter because I think it's less. It feels less. Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh no, it's not less. Oh, it's less. Oh shit. Okay. 60. Okay. 60. It works. It works fine. But wait a second. We have... This is off. So we turn it now on to 100. I have first like the same settings like the Unreal Engine 4. It's currently the same settings. Let's look around. And we have, we have 10, it seems like we have 10 FPS less um, with the same settings. But um, I, I guess, I guess uh, they, they will work on optimizing that as well. But this is, come on, I, I mean, this is awesome that, uh, that it's now an Unreal Engine 5. We, we can have so much cool features now, much more graph, it, it looks much better. And uh, the problem uh, I see is with uh, this, is uh, the the black um, spots there on the map? It's like what the fuck. Um, but but uh, but in general, it seems to work. But uh, with with the TSR, it's it's not good. I mean, I have uh, 30 FPS. I mean, I have a high end system. Uh, of course, it's 4K. But uh, who gives a fuck? But I mean, it looks a little bit better. A little bit. A, really, a little bit. And uh, the lighting looks a lot better. This, uh, this, uh, the, uh, I, I must say, the lighting is way better. But uh, alone from the from the p performance perspective, it's it's a nightmare. I mean, come on, it's yes, yeah, sure, it looks a little bit better, but holy shit! 
I guess uh, they need to optimize uh, there a little bit. So let's see how the new lighting system works and the shadow system and stuff. And I must say, holy crap, it looks awesome. It looks really, really awesome. So let's look at some buildings here. Maybe we can, uh, oh yeah, the red back there. Holy shit. This is, uh, this is the, the refining oven, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is impressive. So let's look a little bit closer. Oh yeah, this is the Heckler and Koch, where we make all the German weapons, you know. <laughs> German engineering. But yeah, it looks it looks it looks much better. Much better than Unreal Engine 4. I guess for some for some uh, settings I will make a detailed video. But first I need to ask someone at Star World um, um, what the process behind all that is. So yeah, basically, what do you think about the Unreal Engine 5? Test it out yourself, go on the test server, test it out if you have better or worse performance. I guess it also depends on, on the, the, the setup. Maybe it's just that, that in 4K it brings it down to its knees, I don't know. Maybe the CPU bottleneck is now a little bit more solved. Maybe some people have even more FPS. So yeah, please look in the description, there's also a vote for that. And thanks for watching, and please leave a like and subscribe and share the video. And don't forget to ring, ring, ring the bell. Oh, the, oh, the, oh the, the, that looks nice. Uh, that looks like a, like a brothel. And special thanks to all the supporters, of course. Carmel, Professor Solo, Carol, Ronus, Patronax, Chrome, Bullock, Giovanni, Vargas, Mip, Greta, you and all the others, of course. And always make your Unreal Engine 5 hard. <coughs> hard. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, a party out. <laughs> and uh, see you all next time. Goodbye.